What is up everybody? It is Drew Traveler of the Burning Abyss here with another video. And today I'm showing you the deck that I'm currently playing uh, that I think is super fun and that is Kash Tira. As you all know with me being a Burning Abyss simp if you will, uh, XYZ monsters are my favorite extra deck monsters. So of course another XYZ deck is just bound to be a deck that I enjoy. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go over my list and I'm going to talk about how awesome this deck is um, and how I think it's a great choice for the current meta and I think whenever a ban list does hit in the probably near future-ish roughly um, that you know this deck will still probably be fairly relevant. So let's go ahead and dive right on into this. So starting off with the main deck uh, we'll start with the cash tier monsters. Of course, three Fenrir. Um, he searches another cash tier monster, and then when he attacks or um, your opponent activates, you know, a, a monster effect, you can target face up card your opponent controls and banish it face down. Really good, 24 beater. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Everybody knows Fenrir. I mean, most people know what this entire deck does, but you know, I'm just talking about my uh, my list. So, three copies of Unicorn. Unicorn is fantastic, searches um, um, for your cash tier spells, and not only that, but when it declares an attack or if your opponent activates a monster effect, uh, you look at your opponent's extra deck and you banish one monster face down, which is actually um, very, very strong. Like, that's a super strong card effect. Uh, and the fact that it's 2,500 beater is also, you know, obviously phenomenal. Up next, three copies of Rise Heart. Um, basically you control a cash monster special it from your hand uh, but you can't special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except XYZ monsters and then during the main phase if it was normal or special summon during this turn you can banish a cash tier card from your deck and banish three top cards of your opponent's deck face down um, and if you know you do he, he becomes level 7 which is obviously great in a deck that values level 7s then uh, the one scare claw cash. This is you know an extender, and I mean it, it does swing in for twenty six. That that is that is a thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really really what it is. You're you're using it to extend. Um, and then I do actually play ogre. I play one ogre. Um, I am playing the trap, so we'll get to that obviously. But I think that ogre is actually like a, a decent card and it's a 2800 beater which is sweet it's also another attribute so you can summon it off of theosis so um this actually has come up quite a lot in my test hands and i think it's definitely worth playing moving on to the spells though we have uh our four copies of rate soth which is obviously um a complete and total necessity in this deck oh now we got the dogs coming in to hang out too uh <laughs> <laughs> then we play three Theosis. Theosis is one of your extenders. Uh, also, when it's banished, you can add one of your banished cash tier cards to your hand, which is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, really, really good card. Then three copies of Birth. This card is just bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Like, <laughs> I can't talk um, like enough about how amazing this card is. Um, absolutely love it. It's got like seven different effects. If they're gonna hit anything for this deck, I don't think it's worth hitting Fenrir. Like, <laughs> just, if you limit this, like the deck just is is so much more difficult to play. Um, Cause if the birth gets outed, then it's like, all right, what do you, you know, what do you do? Um, and then, you know, the the trap, uh, it's not bad. It's, it's decent. Um, I mean, I, it's it's something. Like I really I really think that this card is half decent at the minimum. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep running it. Moving on to the hand traps, though. Of course, three shifter. I mean, why <laughs> why wouldn't we play three shifter? Um, this card does not need to be banned. I really when people are like, oh, ban shifter. It's like no, no, keep keep shifter. Shifter's like more than fine. Um, yeah, like decks can play around it. Uh, three Ash Blossom, it's very basic. I don't think I have to explain that. Uh, three Imperm, also very basic. Don't have to explain that. Then I play three Evenly. This card's so good. Um, like, really, really good. I, I love this card. It's just, 
I don't know. I, I've loved this card since like it came out. <laughs> um, this is probably one of, I usually like I side deck this all the time, but I, I feel like it's just so good this format that if you do go second, like it just helps you so much, like ridiculously. Um, then I play three prosperity because this deck can just utilize prosperity really, really well. Um, and then lastly, two talent and one called by. Um, I haven't seen a lot of cash tier list playing called by. I think the card is definitely worth playing because um, like you want to stop drolls if you can um, and other stuff. I mean, it's just if you can play called by, you should play it. But that is the main deck. It is 40 cards exact. We're going to go ahead and go on over to the extra deck now. All right. So the side deck, um, we'll start off with the XYZ monsters. One Shangri era. Really, really good card. Um, yeah, it's actually, it's so hard to get, like, rid of this card because, like, you can't destroy it. So, <laughs> you have to do it, like, it's going to detach instead. So, you have to do so many different things to play around it. So, um, yeah, Shangri era is really, really good. Then, one Draco sack for uh, the combo. Really, really good combo. Uh, one big eye. It's just really good, obviously. Um, one of the dark armed cards, obviously, crazy, too. Um, and one flare metal, I mean, it's just make it so your opponent has to pay life, which usually doesn't end well for them. Uh, one Zeus and one Typhon. Uh, I wanted to play more Zeus, but you just, you don't really have the room for it. Um, so just, just the one. Then I play one Baron. Um, I have yet to summon this in all of my testing, but I mean, there is a world where it's viable and valid. Then the Link Monsters, uh, two Spider, the Crystal Heart, and the um, Heat Soul. This is the combo, essentially. Um, you open up like Unicorn and uh, Fenrir, and you basically get to draw cards and end on like a really good end board. So uh, that's pretty good. Then we have the IP and the SP, which are obviously really solid. I would say that the SP comes up uh, definitely more than the IP though. Um, you wanna make it just because it helps you play around Nib better. So um, SP is definitely, definitely the better card. Uh, and then lastly is one Opelousa. Doesn't come up really that often, but I mean, it's Opelousa. It's a really, really good card this format. Um, so anytime you can make it, it's never technically a bad thing. Um, you're putting your opponent on an out, and if they don't have an out, then that's great for you. Um, so that's the extra deck. We're going to move on over to the side deck now. All right, so side deck. As you can see, we have a fun card on top, which is three copies of Lava Golem. Uh, one of the reasons this card is so amazing um, is because, like, you don't have to normal summon in the deck. You can just go off of special summons. So, you know, you get rid of your opponent's stuff and then you just get to play Cash Tierra. <laughs> like, it's just, it's really, really good. Uh, I actually copied my my side deck from a, a, a list that did pretty well. I can't remember the event, um, but it is, it, the, I thought that the side deck was perfect. So um, that was something that I just was like, yeah, we're just gonna play this. Um, then three copies of Ghost Bell. Um, not only is it, you know, Ghost Bell, so it has its natural effect, but it's also a tuner. So, you know, you can also uh, make a Baron with it if you need to. So that's uh, pretty pretty important to note. That's a very strong effect to have. Um, then we have three copies of Cosmic Cyclone, one of the best board breakers right now. Um, banish the fire king island and then just watch him struggle so um really good card three dimensional fissure um this card's also crazy like you just drop this and your opponent's really gonna have a difficult time uh, if they're playing any graveyard based decks which you know considering we are technically in a tier zero format right now they are going to be using their graveyard uh then lastly three judgment this is um really really basic like just just drop a judgment you know he says no that's exactly what it does he just says no um that's the side deck so um that's my cash tier profile i think the deck is really really fun uh typically revolving around like two card combos and 
um, you know, having access to stuff like Shifter is always a huge plus when the format is, you know, tier zero graveyard reliant. Um, hoping for a ban list soon, so I don't have to like sit there and, you know, only think about the fact that I'm probably gonna be playing fire decks when I go to an event. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully something happens and, and comes of a list that, you know, is great for everyone. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and obviously turn the notification bell on. So, you know, when I upload more cool and awesome content, like the video you just watched. And for right now, this is Drew Traveler of the Burning Abyss signing out.